let's do this van life in virginia there's the van there's the life i mean there's the virginia there's the life oh, we're in shenandoah national park right now gonna go all the way to the coast from here so change of plans also this lighting right here just absolutely disgusting i know i have a light up here that this light right here this this one i have a light uh, that should work, but it shorted out during the build and the part was like $60 and I thought I'd ship it ahead to myself and then that didn't work and then it's, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. I want that light to work so badly. So instead of exploring, I've got an itch to create an intro for these videos. So I was like, okay, well I'll draw out and animate this cool intro for the channel and have fun with it. So I went and I, I brought my drawing tablet with on the trip. I brought, I, I broke out the, the drawing tablet, like the really big, this big tablet uh, that just hooks up to my computer and then I can animate. Unfortunately, apparently the pen for that tablet is just completely missing, but I'm not gonna let it stop me. I'm gonna make an intro for the channel using, I'm gonna attempt to do it with the iPad. Never mind, never mind, just give up. The world is trying to tell me not to make this intro. So let's jump into my computer and get some of the videos manipulated so that I can animate over top of it super easy. Easily? Easier. Easier. So I've got this video here of me walking around the van uh, in complete 360. So I'm gonna airdrop that to myself. The van in this little box here. So say this is the middle. I want to keep the height the same. And then I want to keep basically the middle of the van in the middle of that box. You know, get rid of all those keyframes and go back. You've got this really wobbly van. Now you've got something that actually kind of looks good. Basically, I stabilized the van and now I've ramped it speed wise. And that's my template footage for the animation. I'm actually going to change the frames per second to 12. And what that's going to allow me to do is draw less frames but still get the message across. So I filmed that reference of the van. I want to do something where now the van is going to change into the camera lens. Right in the middle here and punch in slow with the camera. And then what I want to do is you basically you're going to go through the camera lens through the screen of the LCD. <sighs> Also, don't know if I want to like spin the van. Like if I go in and I grab the van and I twist it. So we got some reference. So we got a spin. We got that. Then we got a camera. And then I'm like, okay, well, what can I transition to a camera for? And I think I've got the answer in this hard drive here. And I think this video was actually in my Minnesota vlog. There it is. So what I'm thinking is I reverse it. I think this is going to be really cool, so I'm going to export it, I think, and send it over to the iPad. So I'm going to try to get a setup going on the beach. Uh, I'm hoping it's not that windy. Also, there's a hurricane in Florida. I actually saw some birds on the way in, so I obviously had to stop and photograph those because I've been obsessed lately. My chairs aren't really beach chairs, but that's all I got. So last night I started on the animation process. There's some benefits to doing it on the iPad and then there's some benefits to like the big tablet that I had. The benefit to the big tablet is that I could just hook it up to Photoshop and with that I've got so many more options to draw. Um, whereas this, there's only so many limited options within the app that I can use. And it's on the iPad so it's separate from the computer which I'll be bringing it back into here in a bit. I'm using an app on the iPad called Calipeg. Um, it was like $12. Alt 
ultimately the whole point of this is to draw really quick. I'm on drawing 28. And like, you can see like it goes through. It's like all 28 drawings. Um, which is about like two and a half seconds. So that's taken me probably like five hours total to get this far. I think I'm enjoying the app enough, but there are a few bugs and glitches that I'm not as thrilled about. Uh, but this is the first time I've ever used it, so maybe there's an easy fix. Take my trusty chair and my iPad back in. I'm almost done with the animation, at least the beginning part, and then I think I'm going to add some extra fun stuff to it. Okay, so the drawing part is now done thanks to the animation session on the beach. That was a lot of fun. Um, and since we did all that preliminary work with like the template and making the, the mock-up for it basically, um, all I really had to do was throw it in here and then I switched the clip out for something of me in Virginia, switched the title to Virginia. So yeah, let's take a look at the finished intro. All right, there you have it. That's the new intro for all of my videos. I'm really excited about this last part because I can customize it to each video. So if you want to see this in the next episode, be sure to subscribe to follow along and have it pop up in your feed. Otherwise, take care. Thanks for watching.